<laughs> Guess what? I'm having a Tupperware party, a vintage Tupperware party, and come and see the wares of the vintage of years gone by of all this vintage Tupperware. If you are interested in purchasing vintage Tupperware, I got a whole bunch here. <laughs> Uh, but also, maybe you know somebody else that is a collector of Tupperware products, and um, if so, share the video with them, okay? I'm going to show you a few things that I have here, because it looks like I was visited by the Tupperware fairy. And not only Tupperware here, but I also have some really cool other old products over here. Um, so, I'm going to show you what I got, and if you like something, you see something you like, do me a favor, take a screenshot of it, send it to me. That way I can make sure that you get it, okay? That works out well for me on these short little videos here. Short little videos that take forever to upload, let me tell you that. So I won't waste any more time and we'll get started here. So i got all this vintage Tupperware. The, the Tupperware fairy has visited my home here. I'm going to show you what I have and let's just get to it, okay? So let's start back here. So this right here is, a, I think they call this an oyster case here. So it's almost like a periwinkle color purple here. This looks like it has never been used. This is in really good condition here. I don't see any scratches on it or anything. It looks perfect. You get that one and then you get this smaller one here that again, Looks like it's brand new. Doesn't look like it's ever been touched. You get both of these pieces here, and these are going to be $12 for these two oyster shell Tupperware pieces. That's how big the biggest one is right here. Okay, that's going to be $12. Then we have these. These are little refrigerator cartons here for your vegetables. And I don't know a lot about Tupperware. <laughs> But I'm learning <laughs> from what I'm reading. So apparently this allows your uh, vegetables to stay fresher longer. And so these are blue <laughs> and white. And they got cute little waves on the front of them too. Again, this looks new. This looks in really good condition here. Um, this is going to be $8. If you like this one, it's $8. Okay. Give you an idea of the size there. Then we got, okay, putting them all in this bag here as I go through them. Then we have this one, same deal, except for this one has a little blue lid on it here. This one's going to be $8 as well. And it has these little poppy things on the front. See, $8, same size. I'm going to say that's probably a five by five inches or so. It's my guess. I don't know if I have a um, ruler around here. I guess I could have thought about that ahead of time. Then we have this one here, another refrigerator one here, white lid, blue bottom, really, really, really good condition here, $8. And we have another one, identical in size, $8. And then over here, this one's a little bit more elongated, more like a shoebox size almost. And again, looks great. Great condition here. $8. Okay, what's next? So let's start with these ones here. These are kind of a, um, kind of like a frosted clear here on the bottom. Pink lid Tupperware. This is a real pale, pale pink color lid here. Very pale pink color. Um, and these ones also look to be in pretty good condition. These ones might have a couple little scratches on the bottom, or at least this one. Um, but really, great condition. Um, very good condition, let's put it that way. This small one right here, $5. Try and get a good shot when you're taking your screenshot so I can see which one I'm actually showing you, okay? put you over here for a second big guy you go right there okay this is another pink lidded one here okay 
This one is going to be $6. And this one looks in really good condition. You're going to probably have to, you know, you're going to have to clean some of these up a little bit. Some of them are going to need more cleaning than others. But this looks like it's in pretty good condition here. $6. Because some of them have been part of a collection that must have been sitting for a little while. Um, and you can probably tell that by the different color of lids that they have, too. Again, this is the pink lid here. It's the same as the last two I've showed you here. This is a large square one here. Okay. There we go. That's what it looks like. And let's see. Yep. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Some minor scratching at the bottom here. Pretty good condition. Pink lid could use some cleaned up here. And this one here is $8. Okay, you <laughs> really run out of space in my bag here quickly. Let's see, back in the corner here, we have this elongated green lid, like a hunter green color lid here. This one says, where are my glasses here? I guess I could tell you how big these things are if I looked at the bottom, right? Uh, not really. It says 3.9 liters. 3.9 liters. Hunter green lid here. Ugh. Looks to be in very, very good condition. Hunter green lid. That's this one here. This one's going to be $10. $10. $10. Let's see, next, hmm, let's do this one next. This one, I don't know if this one is complete. This might be part of a three-part set, but, but this is all we have here. So we have, and this looks new. Well, maybe not. It looks like it might have been used maybe once or twice, I don't know. A little dusty, but um, really good condition here. This one here has a white lid, navy blue color here and um, it's a strainer here it's, I don't know if it's a strainer it might be a steamer you might put this over a pot That's what my guess is probably going to be for that uh, this is going to be ten dollars ten dollars blue let's see next we got this one here this is a jello mold so it has this plate that goes with it here it has a jello mold. It has a plastic lid that fits the jello mold. And then this part pops out. And I guess you can switch it different ways like this. Maybe depending on if you want a hole in the middle of your jello or if you want, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you do with it. <laughs> Orlando, Florida, Tupperware is what it says. So this one here, <laughs> should have got a professional Tupperware lady here. This one is going to be $15. It's one, two, three, four pieces here. It's going to be $15. There you go. Got it. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say that before I did this, I looked up a couple of things about Tupperware here. So let me see if I can share a couple of things with you here. It says Tupperware is named for its creator, American-born Costa Rica businessman and inventor, Earl Tupper. And the first Tupperware product ever developed was a bathroom drinking glass. There are 2.5 million Tupperware sellers in the world. Now there are 2.5 million and one. Uh, Tupperware is produced in six countries, but sold in more than 100. And every three seconds, somebody is hosting a Tupperware party. This is my three seconds to shine. Next item here. This is a cake holder here. Okay. It's big and large. See? Blue. And apparently you can flip this bottom here so that you either can use it as a... Um, I was per, uh, cut out like that or you can use it on this side this side does have some scratches on it you know that they'll show up in the light there you go you see got some scratches on it but it's in very good condition 
and uh, and then it has this little built-in handle on the lid here. This item here, oh, where's your price at, lady? This one's going to be sixteen dollars for the cake set here. Sixteen dollars. That's kind of big. I don't know where I'll put that one over here. And this one here is mega. This one is mega large. It's 32 cups. What's it say? 7.8 liters. This has the hunter green lid and the white bottom to it here. And um, he says it's dusty, but it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, this one here is going to be $16. I'll put it like that. That's where, that's your big photo opportunity. This one is $16 here for that. Okay, so I also have some of these. These are very old school mugs here. I'm sure you'll recognize some of these patterns maybe from your youth here. I immediately recognize this one because I remember I had this one and I used to take this to school with my lunch in it, you know, and sometimes fruit would be in it or whatever it was. So this one here, where'd my glasses go? Thermos brand. Uh, yep, thermos brand little container here. This one looks like it's in really good condition too. Super clean. And it has a little bit, it has somebody's phone number on the bottom. You can call them maybe and see what they used to take to school. <laughs> what they used to pack in their thermos. Um, but you know, you can also use a little nail polish remover and get rid of that magic marker. Um, this one is going to be $5. $5. Okay. This one here, the brand is called Got, G-O-T-T. And Got Corporation from Win Winfield, Kansas. Did I tell you that last one was $5? This one here, got your little cup, got your little got. Open it up. And looks like it could use a little bit cleaned out, but it's in very good condition. Very good condition. And this is almost like a, um, like a pink color. It's almost like a salmon pink color. Okay, got thermos here, and this one is going to be $7, $7 for that thermos. This one here, real cool, old style. This reminds me of something like, I don't know, Ed Asner would have taken a, <laughs> to the news job or something on a Mary Tyler Moore show. I don't, know, I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's what it kind of reminds me of here. Um, so this is the thermos brand. Has your little cup. And, but this one here is going to just be a prop for your home because you open up the bottom and nothing's in it. There's no insulation, no thermos insulation uh, part to drink out of in there. And I don't think you can pour it directly in there or it would probably, well, I don't know if it would leak out or not, but it's a cool little prop. For a vintage kitchen, I think it's kind of cool, or a vintage workshop or something like that. So this little guy here, this one is going to be $4, vintage thermos. And then this one here is super cool. I love this tiny little handle that's along the side here. This is a thermos brand also. It's more like a soup container. See the bowl size here? Then we have the thermos lid here, and this one has a um, silver interior on it here. So it looks like it lost a little silver in certain areas, but that's not on this side. That's on the behind side of it. So you can't, it has no, um, it's perfectly smooth inside. Really cool little old thermos, a brand of vacuum jar. This one here is going to be $9. This one's really cool, I think. I especially like the handle. It's just so old school. It's so old school. I think it looks really cool. Thermos, $9. This piece here of Tupperware uh, has, I think it's so cute, that little seal, Tupper seal. 
This is going to be $5. This is a um, white plastic. You have a divided dish here like this. But this one has a missing part here on the side. It has a damage here on the side. So we're and, and we don't have a handle for this one. So this one's only going to be $5 here. $5. Okay. Next, we get into some of these old school colors and some more fun things over here. This piece here is going to be $6. What it is, is you have this little juicer. These look like they're, I mean, they need, like I said, they, they can use washed up, but they are in really good condition. This is an egg separator. And this is a lid. <laughs> so you get this three-piece set, and they kind of all fit together like that. Um, this is going to be $6 for the three-piece set. What do we got here? Let's see. Uh, we'll go with these next. These are really cool and super hard to find. Do you see how you can see through them here? They're cranberry color, these mugs. And they are... Um, acrylic okay so you get you're getting a set of four of these cranberry or acrylic mugs this is like the size of a beer mug here okay it looks like a good eight or twelve ounces here and you get four of these and additionally you're also getting two of this style like a tumbler mug here and these are going to now these are very hard to find here and they these you see how can you see them up close? They have some wear on them here, and I don't know if it's, I'm gonna just say that they have light wear on them here because I can't tell for sure, you know, if that's a uh, permanent, that might be like a dishwasher type thing, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna say that they have light wear on them here. But you're gonna get the set of one, two, three, four, five, six of these. These are gonna be $25 for the six of them here. That's the cranberry Tupperware. Okay. I'm going to set that one's right here. What's next? Okay, let's go here. This one here is a old school one. I am not sure if this is a yellowy look to it here or if it is age discolored here. Because this definitely has a, a yellowish tint to it here. So I can't be sure, but this is a pretty old one here. I, I've got to say that it's kind of, you can kind of squish it a little bit, you know, and same with the lid. It's more pliable than some of the other ones. This one is going to be $4. What does it say on here? It says Orlando, Brussels, London, Melbourne, Toronto, and Tokyo. Oh, it says on the bottom, Polly J. That might be what it's called. Oh, it's called the Millionaire Line. <laughs> the Millionaire Line. How about that? And then this one here. Does that look like that? This is a harder one. Not as flexible as that. Now this one, again, I can't tell if this is just an aged lid that has this sort of yellowish look to it. Or if it's intentionally a very pale yellow. Uh, inside of the bowl. Let me see. Let's see. It looks, it looks fairly, I mean, it's clean. It's not clean. They need cleaned, obviously clean them. But it, um, it has, it's been used. You know, it has some scratching on the bottom of it there. But it doesn't seem to be anything too drastic here. This bowl here is going to be $8 with this lid. I'll hold that up for you. Okay. Next. What is this? Oh, this is something here. Now, this only came in like this, so I think it's it's missing a piece here. I think it needs to have a, a, a um, lid piece on here because this, again, is also a jello mold. So it comes in the two sections like this. And, and this looks like it's never been used. It looks really super duper clean. Um... I don't see scratches on this anywhere. Really nice condition, but I don't see the bottom of it either there. So we're doing this at five bucks. Maybe you have the lid that fits it. I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. This one here 
is um, this one just says Tupperware, Orlando, Florida. Hmm. So I don't know what that means to you. Oh, wait, on the bottom it has different cities there. Oh, and then they've added Mexico City, too. So this one here is clear lid. Kind of a um, whitish colored bowl here. This one definitely has scratching on the bottom of it here, but still in pretty good condition. Okay, no spaghetti stains or anything like that. This one here is going to be ten dollars. Ten dollar bowl here. I'll put you here. Put you here. Put you here. Next, we have a pink one here. This is not the same pink. Oh, well, maybe it is the same pink. Oh, I was wrong. Well, I don't know, does that look the same? No, this one does look a little bit darker, doesn't it? Nope, they look like the same pink to me. This might be the same pink as the other one here. This is a... I should give you more information on the bottom of the bowl here, but it doesn't. So it's a long rectangular dish here with a pink lid. And has some minor uh, wear spots right there, but it's smooth. Okay. This one here is going to be $8. We're going to put you over here. Okay, so this one here is looks really cool, but for some reason the lid is off kilter here. Do you see that? Kind of has a warped lid, so I can't get it to stick on to create a seal because one corner keeps wanting to pop pop up for me here. These are the ones that we had when I was a kid. Well, not this one. It's not the one that we had. <laughs> I carried it around with me for the past 40 years. <laughs> but the color scheme is the, the ones we had. Um, now this one here, this one shows a lot more wear on the inside here. It actually shows a, like more um, gougy scratches right here. Okay, do you see those? There you guys can see them in the light. And this one here, because of this wonky lid here, I don't know if you can do anything with that. Um, but we're, I'm just, we're putting this at four bucks here because it has the wonky lid. So you'll have to play with that. Okay. This one here, this one is an oldie. It is a yellow. Doesn't tell me how big it is. Kind of like a drink mixer type thing here. Clear lid on the top. And this appears to be in pretty good condition here. I don't see any major flaws with it anywhere little seal on it that all looks good this one here is going to be seven dollars there you go that's how big it is okay oh, ho, ho. let's go up here okay this here is a set of can I even read what that says oh it's a set of four little orange cups and again, these are pretty old school here. These ones definitely need cleaned up a bit. Um, I'm going to say three of them look really good. This fourth one here looks a little rough around the inside of it here. This fourth one looks a little rough. But three of them look really good, um, although they need cleaned up. They have, You can tell they've been sitting in a box here. Um, they don't have lids, though, to them. So I'm not sure what their purpose is, or if they did have lids at one point, I don't know. But all four of these are $9. Let's go up here. These are kind of fun cups. These look like a picnic cup or a camping cup or something like that. And uh, bright yellow color here. These are, they just need cleaned up. They're in really good condition, though. Uh, you're going to get the set of two of them. For ten dollars, I guess that's why I think they're camping cups. They look like Girl Scout cups or something. They all stack inside of each other. Get the set of two of these for ten bucks. Okay. Woohoo! I have so much Tupperware around me. All right, let's go up here. Okay, now these these have a little bit to be desired here. 
getting one, two, three, four, five, six bowls, and we put six bucks on the six bowls. Uh, various colors, but these have been uh, road hard. <laughs> uh, some of them are all right. I mean, besides, I don't know if that's their original color. Like this one here, this this looks like a like a almost like a bite mark or something. And this one here, although I can pick it off, somebody mixed some paint. There I go, pick it right off right now. Uh, on this one here. So they have a little bit to be desired here, okay? But you're getting all six of them for six bucks. So maybe you can make a cool project out of them, a cool little Tupperware montage. Okay, up here we have this old school one, this yellow one here. And this is, does it tell me how big it is? Um, nope, it doesn't want to tell me how big it is. It's this big. <laughs> I don't know if that helps you or not, but it's this big is what it is. It's yellow. This one definitely needs cleaned. It feels like it needs cleaned. Um, it has some minor scratching on the bottom, but uh, it's in pretty good condition. It's in pretty good condition, considering because this is probably a pretty old one right here. This one is $10, okay? Then, well, we'll go to these little guys over here. So this little one has some damage on it. This is, again, one of the ones that were around when I was young and when they were getting Tupperware, but this one looks like it has been burnt and melted a little bit right there on the lid, on the lid, that is. I wonder if a different lid fits in here. Hold on, let me see. That lid nope, that one doesn't fit. Okay, so you see this, how the damage is on this part of the lid here. But the rest of it is still in really good condition, and it still seals properly there. So it's up to you. <laughs> As everything is, it's up to you. <laughs> It's going to be six bucks for this little one over here. Okay, this little one here is an orange one. This one is in really good condition. Well, let me see. I shouldn't say that. I, I see some, I see some uh, microwave marks there on that one. Okay. Orange. And this little lid here. Actually, I see a little dent right here on the lid. And a dent right there on the lid. Looks like somebody was trying to use a tool or something with it. I don't know. So this one here, this one is $8 here for this one. Okay. Now, what's over here, you might ask? Well, this one's jumping out at me. Let's try this. This is a unique little item. I was surprised. I had to look up all of these things to find pricing on them. Oh, my gosh, I'm already at 28 minutes ramble on. This is a unique little item. So um, this is a little sifter. Well, it's kind of hard to see because I'm moving it. There you go. Did I, I took it out of joint. Oh, wait, I see how it works. Oh, okay. No, but you can't see it when I do that. Okay, there we go. Okay. So it's a little sifter. This looks really good condition. I mean, this looks super good condition here, but it's the nice, cool, old orange color here. The sifter is $10. And then we have this matching little, is that matching? Yep. Yeah. Matching little one cup measuring cup here. One cup measuring cup. Let's see. It has, it has some lines around the, inside like some minor scratching around the inside there can you see it right there in the light this one here is going to be four dollars for the little measuring cup we'll get to you in a minute put you here okay running out of space up here this large one here is um again this is a measuring cup you have all your measurement markers right there on the front and on the back here, 
clear. You can pour out of it. You can make pancakes in this one, I suppose. And this one actually has, I don't know, the lid comes off the top and it has a separate little lid on it like that. Don't you love how I give you all this Tupperware information? <laughs> this one here is $18. $18 for this nice big one. And he is a big guy here. See, I can't get my hands around him. He's a big guy. $18 for him. Oh, I was going to say, the other thing I looked up on here, let me see where it's at here. Okay, come on, open up. So it said, um, oh wait, am I on the wrong page? Probably. Let's see. It's. I said, well, what do um, they do at Tupperware parties? I forget where it's at. Oh, no, I don't know where it is. Anyways, this was said something about you have to serve food at the Tupperware parties, and it said... Um, uh, pizza, crostini, and baby carrots, <laughs> spinach dip, etc., etc. I'm thinking, oh, I just don't have time to make all that for you people. I just don't have time to do it. Right here is a scoop. It's a Tupperware scoop. Now oh, I can't read what, how much it cost. The scoop is $4. It's a yellow Tupperware scoop. This appears to be in, in pretty good shape here. I don't see anything wrong with it. Yellow scoop Tupperware. Maybe you could use it in the sandbox even. This one here is another old school orange one like this, but I don't I don't know if this this is a, a lid that I got with it, but uh obviously it's a different color of lid than this. This is more of a pumpkin color on the top. It's like the inside of the pumpkin on the top, and this is like the outside of the pumpkin here. Maybe it was a pumpkin edition here. This one looks to be, I can see some minor scratching on it. This one looks to be pretty good, except for the outside here. Looks like it had, this side looks fine, but this side right here, if you see it has some minor uh, defects right there. Not defects, but, you know, dents or whatever. The lid looks perfect. Okay. This one here is going to be $7 for that one. Then we have this square. Well, not really square. It is still rectangular here. Um, this one looks very good. Very good Tupperware container here. And this one is... Eight dollars. There you go. Eight dollars for this little guy. Okay, so this one here is black. It has a gray, almost a silver color lid. It does have, it looks like a little bit of melt damage right here on the lid. Can you see that right there? Well, something was set on it, but this is what the back of it looks like here. So it hasn't made the, it thinner or anything like that, but it does have that little bit of melt damage. This is a really large container. As a matter of fact, in the back of it, it says it's six liters, a six liter container. This is a really big container here, okay? And inside of this container comes this little contraption here. Some, oh, well, maybe you, do something with it. <laughs> Maybe you do something with it. Maybe you put it like that. Is that what you do with it? I don't know what you do with it. But one of you Tupperware people are going to know what to do with it, right? There you go. Cool little thing. Uh, black, that's black and silver here. Okay. Where's your price at? This one is $14. $14. He's a big guy here. $14 for black and silver. Let's set you down here, sir. And then we have the exact same size as that. But this one is um, hunter green, hunter green lid, and clear bottom here. And this one, let's see, this one, it looks, the other one looks, looks, uh, well, the other one had that extra piece to it, too. Okay, this one here, I see a little bit of scratching on the outside of this green lid here. The inside of the lid looks fine. 
I don't see any problem with this one here. This one's going to be $10 for the Hunter Green. Hunter Green, 10 bucks. And then we got one more of those real big ones back here. There's this one here, which is a blue color lid. Clear base here. And then again, we got one of these little shelf basket things here that come on the inside. Okay? That line the bottom of it. Like that. Oh, you know what this probably is? I think I get it now. My mind started working now. Is this for marinating? Is this for putting like, you know, your meat inside of here and then putting your marinade on and then you lift it up and you're not all sloppy there? Is that what this is? I bet you that's what this is. I'm guessing that's what it is. Maybe you can leave a comment on the video here and tell me if I'm right or not. Okay, so this one, oh, come on, get your lid on there, mister. See, now there's, I know there's a way, this, that's the last part you're supposed to put on. You're supposed to put the other parts on first, right? Then you do the, that corner seal part. There we go. Very good. And this one is $14 for that big one right there. I bet that's what that is. See how things just come to you after a little bit? Okay, next item here. This looks like an oldie here, too. It's a pale pink on the outside. Harder container like that. And then a darker pink lid. Almost, again, that's not really showing you exactly. This is more pink than maybe it's looking right there right now. Almost like a... Um, hmm. It's almost like, like it matches part of my jacket here, actually. Hmm. Okay, um, Tupperware. This one has, um, this one looks like it has some, maybe some microwave marks on it here in the middle. Uh, let me see all the way up here, just very faint, but I can see it a little bit there. I can feel a little texture there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. This one is going to be $8. This is a nice deep one here. Candles look good. $8 for that little guy there. And then, and I've showed this before, but this is such a great piece here. This is a vintage sun frost, a mid-century modern piece there. Look at that, um, the gold. Well, not, is it gold or is it chrome? I can't tell. I think it's a little gold handle. I think it's a gold handle. It's a locking container here too. So you push these little things down like that on the side and it's thermal. So you can put ice in there. You can put fruit salad in there. You can put potato salad in there, whatever you like. This is an excellent condition. Really nice. I mean, it has, it has some very faint, very faint scratching there, but this is, I mean, this is like a 60-year-old piece here. This is in really great shape. And, uh, of course, the other one, some of these other ones are 50 years old, at least, I'm sure. This one is $12. This is the size of him. He's $12. Very cool piece. And then we have this little mold here. Now, this little mold comes... It has this harder dish on the bottom here, like a platter dish, and then the mold, white mold here. This is a small mold. And then it has these various, um, these snap onto the top, okay? They snap right there on the top. So you can make it decorative here. So you've got the heart, you've got the little... Uh, flower. Looks like you got a little evergreen Christmas tree here. You have a tulip and you have a star. So that's kind of a cool little thing, huh? Um, so this one here is eight dollars. You get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces here. And this is eight dollars for this set here. 
This is smaller mold than the others. Oh, I'll just put one of these lids on there. Okay, so it's like about that big here. Oh, look, it's a little Valentine. Little Valentine, uh, cutesy thing there. So that's that. And then the last thing I have is I just have these three extra lids here, but these are really cool because they're again they're the ones that I grew up with, and. And I was thinking, oh, just toss them aside there. And then I thought, you know what? No, I'm going to um, put them out here. And I'm going to, I just put $5 on them here for all three of them here. And whether you are ever able to find the matching Tupperware that goes with it or not, I thought these would be really cute if you were just doing a vintage kitchen. You know, put a little um, uh, foamy tape thing on the back there. And make little wall art out of them. I just think they're very cute. This one here is more the pumpkin color again, like that lid was. But again, it has that wave to it. It's not staying perfectly still. You see the wave to it here? So I'm sure if you were doing it on the wall, you would be able to play with it more easily. But um, kind of cool. So three of these little vintage lids here for $5. And that is the end of my Tupperware party. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you see anything you like, just screenshot it, send me a message, and then I'll make sure you get it, okay? And share the video with the person, that, somebody else that you know that likes Tupperware there. I put a little swirly dude in today because I had ice. We went to the ice cream store today and felt swirly. <laughs> good night. Or good morning. I think it'll be good morning.